Content is king. Everything is about content. And that's why we're talking about content in the context of your hotel website in this video. Hello and welcome to another Hotel Techie video. In today's video, as part of our hotel website mini-series, we're going to talk about content, text, blog, images, videos, and more. I'm going to link to the other videos down below in the description. But let's get started by introducing my guests and the experts. My name is Juliana Hahn and I am a copywriter for the hospitality industry. My name is Thierry Geismann. I'm the founder of Digit Switzerland. I'm Christina Ragetli. I'm responsible for marketing and communications here at the Hotel Adela. My name is Paul Urks. I'm the host of the Adula here in Flims, Graubünden. Before we jump into the discussion, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm Alicia from Hotel Spider. And if you're looking to get your hotel tech-related questions answered, you're in the right place. On this channel, we share our know-how about hotel tech with you. And in this instance, in the format of video content. Content was always king. Content really includes pretty much everything you have on your website. Everything from your headlines and your uh, description copy, blog posts that you have, even like the text on your button, photos or videos. Content is as relevant as the website from technical and design part itself. A website lives from images and videos. It gives the emotional part to it. If you check the website, you emotions should come up like oh wow look at that pool that looks so nice i want to be in there right now content is a great way to attract the right people from the get-go you just don't want random traffic but you actually want people who are interested in what you have to offer start with research always always research right who is your target audience what do they want to do what are they interested in what do they need i would recommend to Make your, make your decision about how often and what you want to put out and then create a plan ahead of time. If you can't publish something every week or every other week, that's, that's not a bad thing. Create something every, every three months maybe. Like you could even have a few big pieces like a destination guide, if you will, right? About your city. Like find someone that's in charge, right? Like uh, put someone in charge that would have this this extra time that they can dedicate to this, you really don't have the time, then get some outside help. Always create a plan and work for this plan because only when you have a plan, you can make sure that you um, deliver everything you planned. You don't have to have like every single idea nailed down uh, several months in advance, but just like a basic idea of what you're gonna do. I wish <laughs> we would have a calendar for a whole year, but at the moment it's more like month per month. Who are you trying to reach? You should have a good idea first of who you're trying to get in the door. And then when you know who they are and what these people really want, then you can start coming up with, uh, with ideas. Talk to your existing guests, talk to your team. Like when is your chef planning a new menu? See, see with your concierge or your front desk team, maybe guest relations, what is your competition doing? How could you apply something similar for your target audience. You can use things that you know are going to happen, right? We know Easter happens every year. We know Christmas happens every year. It's not a surprise. Content work also um, never ends. You shouldn't work like three or four times with the same visual content. It's the same like the, te the same text content. You will never uh, write a letter five times with the same text. So why are you using five times the same image? And I think there, if you have a, a good strategy and a good preparation, it's pretty easy to um, handle flexible content and uh, make your website through that pretty interesting. After all, a website is not a static tool that you have. It is a tool that you can change every day, that you can adapt. Let there only be two days of bad weather and you need another offer online, compared to if there are two meters of snow and the sun is shining on the mountain. It's our last week and then we have a little break before December and on Monday the website is going to be in the winter look. No, I don't think every hotel needs like an active blog, but I think some of these cornerstone pieces can really help you get your targeted traffic. Yeah, if people come back to your website regularly, it's great to, to give them something new to, uh, to look at every once in a while. But also 
Uh, regularly putting out something new is great for, uh, for Google or for just search engines in general. Everything which uh, gives you additional value, uh, which gives additional value for the guests or um, which supports your position within the market, it's something you should talk about it. We also have a blog. Um, it was very important to me. I know that blogs often are underestimated, but for me it's super important because you can put so much information up there and you can uh, be very authentic. Very important to talk to your guests and um, maybe read your online reviews as well. That's always a, a gold mine for, for feedback and for just finding out what people did in and around your property. For example, we just had a story with one of our hotel guests who stayed or still stays here for 60 years now. And she had so many amazing stories to tell. She gave me some very old photos about the Hotel Adler, which we don't have anymore. It's so personal and you have the feeling of the Hotel Adler is a bit like a family here. It's everything where you have a story behind. You can have a food blog from your restaurant show the farmer where you get the eggs from for the breakfast. Talking about the philosophy of a hotel, new section, talking about events, can be about the destination, what you can do in the destination. As of all of us, the whole team in the house, get to contribute to the blog. Our receptionist loves to go hiking up in the mountains. Our event manager is a fan of Lake Kreshta. All of this appropriately packaged with the experiences everyone had, with the personal tips everyone can offer. We're posting about uh, every two weeks different kind of topics. For example, um, we are also a hotel that is very dog friendly. So we made a selection of the best three dog hikes. If a customer Googles hotel in Flims dog, they hopefully come to our website. You can target a variety of different keywords and different target audiences. You're targeting this uh, specific audience with this content and maybe they're, maybe they're searching great family day trips in your area, right? And then um, they might not be looking for a hotel right at that point, but if they find your blog post, then they're already on your website and they might check that out a bit more. How-to posts and list posts work really, really well. Instead of being really generic about the top 10 things to do and see in Paris, um, something a bit more niche. If you're talking about top 10 restaurants in your city, not just any restaurant, but maybe themed restaurants or something a bit uh, a bit funky, a bit out there. Yeah, and I uh, also try to check what trends are out there. Uh, for example, we do have uh, CBD massages. CBD is a, a topic as well, which are which is uh, very trendy at the moment. And people are often scared that they get high by the massages. So I did a blog post as well where our spa manager tried to explain how it works and you do, that you don't get high by the CBD massages. We actually did a lot of photo shoots last year so that we have one uh, photo language, but um, now we don't have to shoot everything new. We have like a, a basic selection of everything we need and now we just need to shoot what is new or if we change something. If you need to have um, images for the website where also in best case, if you have content on website, it should all come out from the same photographer, out of the same shooting. But if you need content just to, to use for the communication, find a way to get into good content for a very reasonable price. Be aware of overpriced photographers and be aware of um, not professional photographers who does this as a hobby. Have a look with uh, maybe um, photographers uh, which are studying photography. You need good content, but not overpriced. There's a few ways you can get the most out of your content. You can take some really great pictures nowadays with, with smartphones, right? Like if you have um, some of the fanciest new phones, you can take some really great shots that you can use both for your social media and for your website. For example, if you put up a new blog post. For that, you don't always need to call in a photographer. Because in the beginning I thought, oh my God, so many shootings, we're gonna use a lot of money for them as well. But it was so, so worth it. I was very happy that I shooted a lot before we started the website project because it really made a big difference.
We will gradually add more moving pictures to this website, because of course a moving picture appeals to the interested user in a completely different way than a static image. I always do a real professional briefing with what I want to have in there, how should it look like. For example, I want a new video. What is the storyboard? Who is the model? Um, how much can we pay? When should it be done? When want, do we want to use it? But also just to have a mood board with also the storyboard in there. With hotel videos, um, what our approach is a lot of time is that we are not creating one hotel video. We try to um, have like a, 30 or 40 short sequences of uh, maybe 5 to 10 seconds where you can uh, like building different videos together. This gives you a lot of flexibility. So if you do like two days video shooting in a year, you have enough content for a whole year for different topics and you can build them differently together. That doesn't look that it is the same. So what we did, for example, with an apartment group in Davos, we bought two GoPros. They put it at the front desk and it's free to rent. The only thing is if people take it with them doing the videos, they give it back to the property. Um, they're gonna take the videos out of the camera, send it to the guest as service, but um, with lending the camera, they sign that they can use it for marketing purpose. At the end we had, uh, I think 12, uh, 30 seconds videos, um, where we always started with holiday experience of Marco, and uh, then you had a 30 second video of him um, going heli skiing. Um, that's very, trustful content because they know that it's actually a guest, it inspires the people. User-generated content is actually a really great tool to, uh, to promote your hotel. It's content that your, your users create. This would include uh, photos people take of your, your hotel. Um, it also includes uh, reviews. So if someone has a personal, a personal blog or a travel blog and they write about your hotel, that would be user-generated content. Also reviews people write on Google or on TripAdvisor, what you would call social proof in marketing. So if someone is checking your website and they see this five-star review, um, they, they're more likely to book. I use a lot of user-generated content, but more in social media. I have a lot of contacts in the journalists and blogger industry. So I use these photos for the website as well, if they match our photo language um, and also on social media, for example. Try to think outside the box. Using the proficiency of, uh, of your guests in generating content. In this social media age we are living now, um, so many people are pretty professional in creating videos, images, text. Um, why not try to, to use this uh, ambitious people to create cool stuff for your property, but you still have um, the, uh, the control. I saw something interesting a little while back. Um, someone had reviewed a ski resort. They had given it one star or saying the most difficult slopes or slopes are way too difficult. Uh, the ski resort actually used that to advertise. They're saying if you're advanced, if you want to try some of the hardest slopes, then uh, come here, like uh, only for advanced skiers, right? And if you have, if that's your target market, then this one star review is like amazing for you. That's the way to go. Taking a negative review and turning it into an amazing marketing campaign, very impressive. That's it for this video. Thank you very much to all my guests and participants for their time and for sharing their know-how. If you have any specific questions for them, feel free to reach out to us or to them directly. If you enjoyed this video, go check out the other ones we have online in this hotel website mini-series. I'll link them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and if you want to be informed about any upcoming videos from us, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.